Mike 1 on Mike 2. That's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mike 3, Joel Creasy. Yeah. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, oh, hey. Take me to the place I love. We'll count you in. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hanging out with friends. Making some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Let's have a margarita. Oh, Everybody get say, ready. Salud. Salud. Dinero. Dinero. Special day today. Probation. Probation. That's only if they catch you. Sing it to us, people. <laughs> it's a special day because it's May 5, a.k.a. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, yes, I can really shake my boozies to this. Yeah, it's all for the shaking. We came to party, people. I'm not shaking. <laughs> yeah! Oh, imagine being in Miami or something. For oh. this. Woo! Happy Thursday, guys. Thank you, Blackers. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Thank you. I don't know a whole heap about Cinco de Mayo. No, it's just May 5. Break it down. Is it Independence Day or something? <laughs> it's, a, it's a celebration. Cool. It's an excuse to shake your tatas. I mean, I know this is controversial and you're about to jump on a plane today to go to Eurovision. Would they ever have Eurovision in Mexico? Well, Eurovision America just launched, hosted by Kelly Clarkson and Snoop Dogg, so anything's possible. Eurovision America. Yes. I just get so confused oh, by all of this. Yeah, don't just stick to the classic Eurovision okay. for now. No, you're right. It marks Mexico's independence from forensic foreign rulers, even. <laughs> forensic, forensic rulers. Forensic rulers. Hang on. Come closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pitbull, you know. Well he done, knows mate. how to do it, doesn't oh, put- he? Pitbull was at Eurovision last year. Was he? Yeah, he was competing for San Marino. <laughs> I thought it was Flow Rider, wasn't it? Oh, was it Flow Rider? Oh, yeah. It was Flow Rider? Oh, God. <laughs> I get all those hey, rappers mate, you've confused. Been, you've been packing all day. I get it. Your 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 head is elsewhere, and I understand. So, thank you. You're, you're leaving uh, today. Uh, we've got Dylan Lewis after this. helping us tomorrow and for the rest of the week. But we are checking in on you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Through, through your trip to Torino. Yeah, we'll yeah. be missing you. Jealous. Oh, no. But Dylan, great choice. Love Dylan. And he was with uh, Miff and I up uh, on the Gold Coast for Eurovision to help find the winner. So he's, yes. uh, he knows his stuff too. Yeah, yeah. we only get feelings for you that have some connection to Eurovision. And when two of you are out of the country, Dylan is our third choice. <laughs> so then why do you always use Carl Stefanovic? <laughs> oh, well, he was unavailable tomorrow. Uh, travel tips for your trip to Italy. That's next. Kate, Tim and Joel. Ten things I hate about you. <laughs> Only ten. Oh, my God, I love that movie. <laughs> uh, that's Leah Kate here oh. on Nova. It's Kate, Tim and Joel. That's all right. I mean, it's, a good, it's still a movie. I know. Great movie with um, Heath Ledger and um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Who's the, oh. who's the girl? Julia oh. Stiles. Julia Stiles. The most forgettable woman in Hollywood. Yeah, that was a real, she was just a real moment in time. But you can't say, oh, when you forgot it. And, <laughs> <laughs> it's around that same... Um, yeah. Kirsten Dunst. Kirsten yeah, Dunst. Although she's same. making a comeback. She's just yeah, she uh, has. nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when yeah. she was going out with um, a dear old friend of mine, just because I love him, he's, I've only met him once, Johnny Borrell mm. from Razor Light, they called her Kirsten Drunks. Oh, oh. oh that's it. always fun to call people names when they're going through a hard time in their life, isn't it? <laughs> I think she was just going through a fun time because she moved to London oh. and she wasn't in Hollywood anymore and she was going out with an English rock star because yeah. that's my dream. Yeah. So, you know, move to London and go out with an English rock star just for a few years, yeah. blow the cobwebs sure. off. You want to be and Kirsten. Yeah. She was in one of the most iconic films of all time, Bring It On. She was the captain of the Toros. Yeah, one she of was. the most iconic films of all time. Bring okay, one of the most iconic films of the nineties. Bring it on. Is it really? I'd I, I would back that in. Okay, you know what we're doing. I know. I know. We've got a run sheet here. Yeah. Are you throwing it out? Next, next, we're going to do most iconic films of all time. <gasps> okay. Or what? Why don't we do most iconic films of the nineties? Oh. Yeah, right. Or oh, the 90s. Because all time people are going to say The Godfather, <gasps> oh, oh, yeah. Star okay. Wars. Yeah, you know what? 90s no, is not... fun. Okay, yeah. why don't we do the, the most iconic films of the early 90s? Not early 90s. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. 90s, it's, it's February coming up. February 95. It's coming up. Park, park it, guys. Park it. Okay. Put a pin in it. We'll do that soon. Because uh, there's lots happening today. It's quick draw day today. I'm looking forward to our next guest gracing the studio. With or without a wheelie case. Yeah, she might have actually driven me in, so I think I know who it is. <laughs> you just gave that whole thing away. Well, not quite. No one knows who Joel's 
driver is. Yeah. Um, let's do travel tips because you are heading off to oh Italy, <laughs> Torino. Thirteen twenty four tip. Any international travel tips because people are starting to book their flights. Head overseas again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So exciting. Get me on that plane. And expensive, I think. What, to go overseas at the moment? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's expensive well, to fill my work. car up and buy broccoli. I know. Definitely, <laughs> it's definitely expensive to go overseas. Yeah, but I think so. You know, all the people who have done a bit of travelling, when they come back, you're like, oh, so how did it go? Oh, it was just so nice to be travelling again. Well, yeah, I feel like a real wanker for saying this, but because I did go to Europe, over Christmas, I can't wait to get back because it is so normal over there. They're like when when you mention COVID, they roll their eyes. Like, please stop talking. Yeah, but the way you've been traveling, you'll get back here to come back to us, and you'll get COVID. Well, that's yeah. what happened last time. Yes. I I, got, I was spent I spent a month over there over Christmas, and then I got back and I caught COVID. Well, Jack, we reckon caught COVID first from Richmond Pool, which I thought, oh, that's a new way of saying wet on Wellington. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Here's my travel tip for you: don't get COVID. Okay, what other travel tips are there? Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got some travel tips. Do you want to hear them? Yeah. Because someone this is DM'd very nice. us. Look how long okay. this DM is. Oh, that's too long. Have From... you actually read this, or is this the first time you've cast your eyes over? The I've had a little tips? read because you're t- leaving I'm, today. It could be I'm a bit genuinely going to take it with me. Uh, what's her What's her name? Marta. Marta. Um, you're a she... Marta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you looking at me? I'm looking at both of you. I love going to the Martyrs on the weekend. Um, <laughs> Do you get so tomatoes Mar- there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tomatoes at the Martyr. I love cherry tomatoes at the mm. Martyr. Oh, yum. Mm, yum. Um, so Marta is from Torino, but oh. podcasts this show because we're international guys. Does she live there? Yeah, she lives there. Tell me about Torino. Let me. Oh, sorry. Like hang on. I heard that Joel is heading to Torino for Eurovision. I live in Australia, but I'm from Torino. Oh, so used to live there. Used to live there. Great. Let's say she just moved to Australia and was podcasting us for, you know, the past couple of years. Yeah, to learn the language and stuff. (laughs) Yeah, because we've got such a grasp on it. Oh, hang on. Turin is the English word for Torino. So they say Torino in Italy, but we say... What? They say say Torino. Just say Torino. Okay. Well, I want to be be correct. I've done a codes meeting with SPS and we're calling it Torino. Um, Because it's Torino FC... That, that'd the, be my favourite football team. The over football there. club, yeah. I don't really know much about Torino, but there's not an airport. You fly into Milan, and it's about an hour away. It's the capital of Piedmont. Oh yeah, I used I to go to Piedmontese at uh, in North Fitzroy at IGA. Oh, no. The IGA well, Piedmontese. Yeah, there. and aren't, aren't our Nova Studios in Piedmont in Sydney? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just near the Mata. <laughs> <laughs> this is the fish Mata. Um, like Kate's that every day. Kate's favourite. You sit on the floor with your fish Mata. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> and so some wolfy in here. That's all. Some tips from Ma- from Mata. She said first, oh. forget about the carbonara. Carbonara is from Roma. Okay. Um, I do love a good carbonara. travel tip. Mm. She also she saw, also said in Torino you must have the agnolotto with brisato beef served with a glass of barbero or barallo. Oh, amazing! Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got Italian food here too. Who cares? Yeah, oh, nightlife. Yeah. She said oh, the Piazza yeah. Vittorio Veneto and the Quadri. Quadrilatero, lots of this? pubs and places to eat and drink. He is doing this. <laughs> I used to go there with friends. And then Fiat and Fiero, and she's put a laughing face next to that. Ferrero. I was in Ferrero. Rocher. Oh, my oh. God. <gasps> Where's Raffaello from? I could go there and get you guys a big box of Raffaello. No, I don't thanks. want them. I don't want them. I'd They're them delicious. To the dog. Dessert. Gian, Gian Di Uto or Bonnet are the kings. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. So are these travel fair. tips or just she's the, like printing out Wikipedia? No, she's telling me where to eat. Oh, here we go. You might want to visit the mole. The Mole Antonelliana with the National Museum of Cinema. If it's a sunny day, take the lift. You'll have a 360-degree panoramic view of the city. And the French Alps. Oh, it's Marta. Thank you so much this for this. This is exciting. She's saying that it was a royal city and in 1861 it was the first capital capital of Italy. I just found a bar for you. Oh, oh, right. It's called Raff Bar in Turin. What did you Google? Raff Bar? Yeah, Raff Bar. Oh, my God. Can you look Google gay bars, Torino, please? But look at this place. This is right up my alley. Look is at this. Is the first thing you do when you go somewhere? That's yeah, a... that's my sightseeing. I don't need to go on escalators, look at mountains. I want to go to the local bars. Oh, my God. Look at those shots. But you can drink anywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, on can. the plane, yeah, and you might as well kick on. Put in gay bars, Torino. Let's okay. see if they've got any. And thirteen twenty four ten. If you have any uh, gay bar suggestions, I mean, sorry, travel <laughs> tips. Um, oh, oh Quiver, <laughs> Fronzol, Quiver, Quiver, Quiver. I went to Quiver. I can't stop quivering. <laughs> 
pants next to the Martha. Oh, I can't Impied- wait. He put it in my pediments. <laughs> Impediment. Oh, Weaver. Look at that night. They seem to do some sort of like masked BDSM right. night. We'll come back after Harry Styles and we'll talk about some other travel tips. Uh. Kate, Tim and Joel. It is Kate, Tim and Joel. Thursday afternoon. Happy Cinco de Mayo. In fact, we've got something for you if you want to have a margarita tonight or enjoy some tequila. Kate has a great little tip about something that you may or may have at least had in your cupboard before. In the meantime, though, it's all travel tips because Joel is heading to Italy. I love it every day. Spaghetti bolognese and like a foxcotch craze and like a You should sing this when you get there. I know. Yeah, it'll go down really well. Like the time I was working in Africa on that show we don't talk about and at a cast party I put on that Waka Waka Africa song by Shakira. <laughs> and ooh, that went down well with the locals. Waka Waka Africa. Yeah. Because this song. is Africa. Oh, no, 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 no. Great eh, film, eh. but... Shakira, I mean, I've got a lot of time for her. Well, she yeah. was my favourite at the Super Bowl with her and J-Lo because it wasn't really all of, like... No! Shakira was. Out Over J-Lo. And J-Lo. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying that to be controversial. No, yeah, not. I know, because he likes to be anti-J-Lo. I saw no, Shakira on the on the, on the a, a video clip with at the gym this morning. Yes, I was at the gym. Call mm. if you saw me. Um, with, <laughs> um, uh, with Will I Am. Oh. She was amazing. She was riding a skateboard. Oh, Who so was? Cool. Shakira. I don't know what song it was. Mm, one of the good ones. Skater Boy. <laughs> one of the, one of the Skater Boy covers. Shakira and Will I Am. Oh, I know. Oh, I'm not even going to look for that. <laughs> Who do you not want to invite to a dinner party? Will Shakira I Am. and Will I Am. No, just Will I Am. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, you're so creative with your Nespresso pod song. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I've got some travel tips from online. Yeah. Yeah, and this are is for everywhere. That? Yeah, I think we are. We're going to push on with it. Someone said antihistamines times three. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going with? I know, times three. Someone said, ask for the seat next to you to be empty. The hostie can block it out so no one sits there. Well, yeah. yeah but they sure. don't always I'll, have room to do that, do I'll they? be sure to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Karen, <laughs> what's your travel tip? Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, Karen. Uh, hi. So, Joel, when you're packing, roll mm. your clothes up as this keeps the baggage weight down and you can get more clothes in. I'm a, I'm a, clo- I'm a, clothes, I'm a clothes roller for T-shirts and shirts and shorts and things, definitely. Is it better for, yeah. like, um, crinkles or whatever, like creases? Yeah, they don't crush as much yeah. as well if you keep them rolled up. Did you yeah, say something packing's about... a thing of the past. What about the weight? Did you say keeps the weight down? Yeah, it keeps the weight down because I think if you remove... They do it in the military. If you remove the excess air um, from around your clothing... There you go. Oh my God, Karen, I love it. You're amazing. I love it. Are you a travel agent, um, Karen? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just travel a lot. Yeah. Oh, I travel. Have you got a, have you got an overseas jaunt plan now that you can get out of this country oh, of ours? Yes. <laughs> I'm going back to your. I'm going back to your country, Tim. I'm going back to the states. Oh, oh nice one. Say York. hello to it for yeah. me. Oh, I will, I will. Oh, hey, hey, she knows. LA or New York, obviously LA. Uh, well, that's yeah, me. Tim Have an in and out burger for me. Yeah, I love LA so much. Oh, yes, double-double. Oh, yes. <laughs> you really are an American fan. I just want to go to the Chateau and Mont. <laughs> Margarita oh, in the uh, foyer. Yeah. Oh. Mate. You're a travelling Wilbury. Here they are now when we come back. I'm a travelling Willy. What did you say? Wilbury. Oh. <laughs> When we come back, Joel's most iconic films of the 90s. And there might be a controversial... <laughs> oh, no, I've it up. have to be ashamed of the car I drive. I'm just glad to be here, happy to feel that. Yeah, I tell people I'm a broadcaster. Kate, Tim and Joel, <laughs> driving you home on Nova. Come on. This is fun. Mm. Wait for it. Joe Tex, gotcha. Oh, feels good, doesn't it? Oh my God, it's so groovy. You know, in a second we're going to talk about iconic films. Now, I'm on record, Quentin Tarantino has made every one of the greatest films of all time, as well as the best soundtracks of the best films of all time. This is from Pulp Fiction, which oh, okay. happens to be from the 90s. Oh, Which, of course. When we come back, we're going to ask the most iconic films of the 90s. i got a lot of them because they're my they're in my wheelhouse, the 90s films, but this, I think, has to be my favourite. Mm, I reckon I can top you. 
All right. Taken out of context, that could sound <laughs> completely <laughs> different. <laughs> Taking you that long to say that. God, I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll explain to you. Just find a guy and they'll explain it to no, you. I don't I'm mean that. I mean, oh. No, I don't mean Googling top you. Oh, don't worry. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Top you, uh, We're top back you would next. be one. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Kate, Tim, and Joel, you were saying? I don't know, mm. something about topping you. Did you Google Oh, my gosh. No, Are you not. a top two? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, oh. Mm. But is that just in your world or could that be in anybody's world? In anybody's world. Well, I don't want to give too much away. You could also be a power top. How could it be, what does that it mean? be in anybody's world, though? If you were, let's go old school for a second, man and woman. Um, oh, I don't know I don't how think you, you people can, do I, it. I don't think you can. I don't have know how you way. breeders do it, but I'm assuming you can have it. What's well, you can. what's a power can. top? Oh, no, <laughs> no, I love no, that we're having no, this conversation. We're not doing this. Google, time. I yeah. don't need to Kate. ask Google. No, we're not oh, doing, oh, we're no, not doing it now. Because, we'll do it another time. Because we've got a huge. This is going to be. This is a great what's segment. A power top? We are talking the most iconic '90s films. Now it started because I played the song Ten Things I Hate About You" at the start of the show by Leah Kate, and we said, "What a great film!" Yeah. And then Joel said something along the lines of. I don't know how it got onto the film Bring It On. Well, but ten I, Things I Hate About You was a big 90s film. Oh, it was a big 90s film. The best and, of the 90s, I think. Yes, and I said Bring It On was also one of the greatest oh. films of the 90s because it was all about Kirsten Dunst and how she's had a bit of a comeback recently. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Was Ten Things I Hate About You actually from the 90s? Or was yeah. it a... It yes. was. Okay, great. It Definitely. would be because yeah. of the stars of the show. But uh, is Bring oh, It On yes. a dancing film? Cheer- cheerleading, oh, yeah. Cheerleading. Mm. And, and we worked out that that was wrong... It's not in the 90s, I googled is it? it and oh, it came what? out in the year 2000. That's okay. You we're all allowed to make mistakes. But my other <laughs> <laughs> but my other one that then I was going to really go in to bat for like iconic 90s film, mm-hmm. Miss Congeniality, also 2000. Okay, oh. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to throw a couple out there and you will all agree with these. Okay. Pulp okay. fiction, whether we like it you or not. Yes. Pulp yes, fiction. yes, you tick. go girl. Right, yeah, clueless. Tick. Oh, oh, yeah. absolutely. What year was yeah. that? Um, one of the years. Yeah, okay, in the yeah. 90s. We're saying 90s. Yeah. What about yeah. 1997? Um, a little song called Titanic. <gasps> oh, my God, that was 90s. How did I forget that? Oh, I want to slap myself. Okay, I just did. Don't, don't. Oh. I've got another one to throw in. I want to take everybody's, but you're not going to get better than this as a film and a soundtrack either. <gasps> Romeo and Juliet. Baz Luhrmann. Right. This is a great film. A song, great Whatever song, great is. film. I made I made a claim before. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something big. Mm-hmm. And look, disagree if you want. Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. Yeah. Disagree if you want. Oh four, eight hundred, thirty one, KTJ. No, go yeah. for it. There has not been a bigger decade in film and music than the nineties. I would perhaps agree with you. Is that Nirvana? <laughs> Uh, well, you define well, as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm just saying, like, yeah. uh, I'm just trying to uh, uh, picture it in my yeah, head yeah. and my life. Now, look, here's the other thing. I'll, I'll, I'll save it. I get, like, there's Godfather and the Beatles and the Rolling yeah, Stones. Totes. But I think for consistency and for difference in art, like, yeah. listen to the the movies and the songs we've just played, so different from one another. They're not themed. Yeah. They're not all guitar they're music like or all mobster bag movies. Of lollies. They are. Yeah. Not the 90s really ruffled or rattled the cage a bit. Yes. Well, I just realised my favourite movie of all time, aside from The Wizard of Oz, uh, yeah. which certainly didn't come out in the 90s. Human um, Centipede? Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that was like Square the Wars. Uh, <laughs> no, um, Strictly Ballroom came out in 1992. My favourite film of all time. Is it really? Yes. With Sonia my, Kruger? Yes, with Sonia Kruger. Because my favourite <laughs> song of all time is Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. That's an amazing song. If I fall, I'll catch you. I'll be waiting. Of course. And I convinced, managed to convince Jack that that'll be our first dance at our wedding. Oh, well, Jack's message me. This is going to be the first dance at your wedding from uh, his favourite 90s film. Ah! <laughs> Another you good one. Nineties. Yes, yes mate. Wow. Oh, I was going to start saying films like The Burbs. That turns out that's nineteen eighty nine. Yeah. And what about Harry and the Hendersons? When when oh, was that? I mean, I know they're not oh. classics, but they're big films in my life. No, but that's okay. This is just for you, uh, Matt. Are you going to add to this conversation? Most iconic film of the nineties. Go. Yeah, absolutely. Remy and Michelle uh, High School Reunion. Oh, of course. Yeah, good that, that turned twenty five or th- something this year. I believe that Happy that movie. Happy birthday, Romy and Michelle. Is that the movie where they they pretend at the school reunion that they invented the post at night? <laughs> oh, I don't. <laughs> the know. dad, I the dad seen, invented. So yeah, I haven't post seen it for years. Well, Matt, Matt would know. Um, and Ned, I can't believe I've I've not Michelle said Keller this. In it. Hello, Ned. Hello, Ned or Nell. Hey, 
Hey, how you doing? It's hey, Ned. Nick. Hey. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, how you doing? This as well, great film, great soundtrack. Over to you, Nick. It is. Sorry, yes. I, I lost you for a second. <laughs> Don't you love the, the cell phones of today? Oh, uh, tell me about it, girlfriend. Ned, are you going to say the film? <laughs> Yes, um, Cruel <laughs> Intentions. I love it. Sorry, oh, Del. Oh, my God. That's all right, Del. <laughs> Isn't that a great movie? <laughs> yes, it is. What about Sarah Michelle Gellar when she walks out of the yeah, school? Yeah, my favourite. Takes that little thing out of her necklace. Remember oh that bit? Oh, my gosh. I've never yeah, seen it. So it. Se- oh, it's oh a sexy God. film. A sexy also, film. I love that Ned's just kind of called up for a chat. You had a good day, Ned? <laughs> Selma Blair, no, that okay. film as well. Uh, Ryan Felipe. <laughs> she, she's been at a long lunch. Oh, that's when Ryan was really hot. Hey, I, I, I thought can't... it was Justin Timberlake. Well, yeah, Ryan oh. Felipe and Justin Timberlake kind of were exactly the same person. Well, they they were like that... the hottest person in the world. Then, <laughs> oh, hang on, there's two yeah. of them. <laughs> they have that puby hair. Yeah, I love like puby hair. They have that puby hair in the 90s. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Those really tight <laughs> girls. <laughs> that could have been a product issue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's wrong with your hair? Why are you so uptight? Why is your hair so uptight? I know. <laughs> Brush it out. Can I play I one more song from Pulp Fiction? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's so good. I love you so much, can't count all the ways I died for you, girl, and all they can say is he's not your kind. Our next, we're going to go right deep into the world of Cinco de Mayo. Great. Because Kate's got a tequila bottle hack for us that's going to blow our mind. Oh, is that what you've been drinking from? Kate, Tim and Joel. Yeah, on Nova, it's Kate, Tim and Joel. We've got a quick draw guest after five who may or may not have been in the building because they may or may not have already driven Joel Creasy into the studio. <laughs> I know. And we're also on a, like, you know, around this time of year, we're on a, like, daily speaking to basis. Right. Okay, good. Oh. We'll get to that person in a sec. Um, let's pivot from Eurovision, though. Because um, <laughs> that's where you're heading. No, because that's where you're heading after oh, the show. okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> and let's go to Mexico. Hila. Cinco de Mayo. A friend of mine has a party in Melbourne every Cinco de Mayo. It's like one oh. of the big parties. Really? Yes. On their calendar or on Melbourne's calendar? I oh, know Melbourne's calendar. Carla, oh. if you're listening, she just goes all out. Yeah. She's, oh. she's the one that did our Live Mars sign for us. Oh, thanks, Carla. She's I'd love to go to Mexico. Queen. I love the episode of um, Real Housewives of Melbourne when they went to Mexico and drank so much tequila and then Janet Roach... The um, mm. the you know the matriarch of the group Blonde. like got, um, fell over and bashed her eye in the corner of a um, side table and had to go to hospital <gasps> with a black eye. Well, see, tequila will do that to you. Mm. Representing Australia well, our uh, Melbourne housewives. Like that joke that why did the Mexican man push his wife off the cliff? Tequila. Oh, I've heard that one. It's you could do it the other joke. way around. You could say why did the Mexican <laughs> wife push her husband off the cliff? To kill her. To kill- Oh. oh, you're the comedian. Okay. Oh. Hey, 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 why, why did, did the I les- push you? Why did the Mexican lesbian push her wife off the cliff to, to kill, kill her? her. Yeah. Okay, sure, you're still killing women. Well, can you, what about this one? Why did I ki- push you off the cliff? Mexican. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense. Mexican. <laughs> and it's also to kill her. To kill her. No, you mean because you could say. You're to push a lady off. To- I, know it's, I know it's bad no. taste. I, I know it's bad taste. To Don't kill- ride in. Yeah. To kill you. <laughs> you could say that. That's what I was trying to do. do. It, okay, do it. Now do it okay. like, from the start. Hey, hey, you're Mexican and why did I push you off the cliff? Oh, why? To I'm kill you. Ya. <laughs> <laughs> to kill you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So bad. Yeah. But hey, you're what? Mexican. Hey, hey, me- hey, you, you're Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mexican man. Um, I've got this great story for you about tequila. Okay. Oh, um, what do you mean? What do you mean you killed her? <laughs> <laughs> um, people are just realising that the little, you know the little sombrero-shaped lid on bottles of tequila, the red one, the plastic yeah. thing? Um, it isn't just decorative and it ca- can come in quite handy. How? Now, ap- apparently, thank you, Joel, for playing along. The sombrero has several handy uses, including being a lime squeezer. That's the one that first popped into my head when I was reading this. Oh. And the ideal item to measure out the right amount of tequila for a shot. But most interesting of all, its purposes, of, of all its purposes, is that the rim of the sombrero can also be used neatly to salt your glass. 
So you fill it up with salt around there. Yeah, oh, a you, shot glass. If oh you've got a tiny God. little glass. And also the tiniest lime you've ever seen in your life. I mean, if you have miniature items in your kitchen, yeah, this yeah. is perfect. I am a fan of tequila, big fan of tequila. I didn't know any three of those uses for the hat. I just thought it was a fun little hat that I'd put on and be like, oh, I'm going to wear this to the Melbourne Cup. I do that every time. <laughs> do you really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is this a cute little fascinator? <laughs> no one laughs. But then, well, actually they do because I'm paying for the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got one more tequila joke, but you've got to help me. So you got to, you got to say, Who am I? you got to say, what are you reading? Now? So, so no. No, no, I'll, I'll say something and you say, what are you reading? Okay, what are you, reading? What are you going to say, though? Oh, it doesn't matter. I love irritating you with stuff like this. Did you yeah. see how quickly it gets irritated mm. when you ask too many questions? Am so I what saying, do what I say? Re- no, I'm no, saying Joel's, I'm Joel am and I, I having no, a conversation I'm now. You're, you're not invited. I am. I'm the actor. I have, a, I have, apparently, I have a habit of drinking. Oh, hang, on, I, hang on, I've forgotten my yeah, line. Yeah, he doesn't no, know the Kate line. Kate the Tell line. me the line. the line. Okay, you know that. So what are you reading? Okay. Am I angry or happy when I'm asking? I'm angry. I know that. Am I just inquisitive? I have a habit of drinking while I'm reading. What are you reading? Tequila Mockingbird. Hey! Let's have a margarita. That was worse than the first one. I know it wasn't. Kate, Tim and Joel. The glossies. On screen. On screen. On screen. What's happening in the world of Glossies this Thursday afternoon? Check this out. One of our favourite screenshotters. Oh, it's our gal, Wendy Williams. (coughs) Now... Am I? Because I, I thought she wasn't doing particularly well at the moment. And Wendy. We send her, yeah, Wendy. What do you mean, personally or personally, in the ratings? Hence, oh, no, she, she's gone. She's gone from our screens. Oh. Um, yeah. But well, not that she was really, really ever played on Australian screens, but she was something. This story's got something to do with the Met Gala. Yeah. Yes. And um, she's sort of teasing she might be coming back. Yeah, she stepped out at a Met Gala function, which is also the saddest part of the Met Gala, oh. not going to the Met Gala and having oh. a function. I was going to say, there's no way Wendy's getting invited to the Met Gala. It's like me having a viewing party for the Logies. Like, <laughs> if you're not going, you just don't go. <laughs> uh, but yes, she's teased a TV comeback. So we'll look forward to seeing her burp and fart potentially soon <laughs> on our screens. Next, Glossy, what is this? Who is this? Tell me. Oh my god, oh, it's Madonna. It's I know. Yes. This is what's bizarre. You can't quite recognise. Has she had work done to her face? <sighs> Who is the guy she's sitting on in the pants? I don't know. That's but Kid they're... Rock. <laughs> <laughs> it could be anyone. It could be that. Uh, no, don't worry. No, she's in Colombia. Yes. She joined Colombian singer Maluma on stage for a racy performance where Madonna danced on top of him while he sat on a chair. Oh my goodness. Oh. Who's um, that a good get for? Uh, I think Malula. Oh, definitely for Malula. Mm, I love oh, Malula. Oh, it's a big, big audience. Malula must be popular. Mm. Never How heard of it. Malula Bar for school holidays. Oh, fantastic! Oh, what a gorgeous spot. Just part of the world. If you can't get to Colombia, you know. Mm, mm. That's what I was going to say. Um, third glossy. What's happening here? Oh, is that Cody Simpson? Yes, it is. <laughs> like as if I haven't seen that photo before. That's him in his speedos because he was. He was getting ready to tr- compete for Australia in, in one of the swimming um, events. Meets. Meets. Um, but what's the up here? Well, he's heading to Adelaide to take part in the 2022 Australian Swimming Championships and the event will be streamed on Amazon Prime. It's more of an ad than a glossy, really. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I sat next to him on the plane back from oh, LA once. And yes. Him, <laughs> and? He was lo- very lovely. He's very he- lovely. We had him on the Brisbane Breakfast Show for heaps before he moved to America. Oh, before he won the Masked Singer and his Ooh. career really took off. <laughs> Is that why you have those tattoos? Because he's covered in them? What do I have? I don't have any of his tattoos. Those little, like, speckled ones that are like you oh, just called, walk through a, a shower of tattoos. Oh. Sticking pokes. Oh. Are you a big Cody Simpson fan? I am, actually. I've got, uh, I've got, um, ah, yeah, 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 tattooed on my right peck. <laughs> peck. Oh, that's a... Oh, is that what it's called? <laughs> yes, it is. Buzzy? Well, yeah. Um, Final glossy, please. What's happening here? Oh, we love Mariah Carey. We do. And... <laughs> What's happening? Mariah has dropped a new merch, guys, to celebrate oh. Pride. Of course. Well, that's, you know, a target market. This is a very good photo of Mariah Carey from and 150. It, 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 I was going to say, that is an old photo. Nova. Nova's 10K a day in May. Oh, my God. 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 10K a day in May. A guaranteed 10K winner. Are you serious? Every week. Thursday afternoon, it's time for the call. Oh, I've been yes. waiting for this all day, actually. Banging for it, in fact. I mean, oh. and this is a big one for you, Joel. This is your last one before you chuff off. 
I know. And you know I love 10K a day in May. That's all right. We'll call you in every day. I mean, not to give away the 10K, but just to update you. Yeah, let me know the names of the winners. How much money would we be missing out on giving what, for your little Eurovision trip? 70000 oh, Yeah, oh I'm going to miss God. about $70,000. When you put it in a context like that, Eurovision takes ages. Yeah, it does. I, <laughs> I really don't. Know. <laughs> Try a being lot there. of cash. When you're sharing 200000 bucks, here we go, making the next phone call right now. We know the rules. Don't talk over the rings. I know. Shut up. Hello, Bailey speaking. Oh, hello. Oh, my God, hi. Do you know who this is? Yeah. It's Kate, Tim and Joel here. Guess what? No way. Oh, my God, oh, my God. You've won 10K! Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Yes, we're yes. for real. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my God, congratulations. What are you going to spend it on? I'd love to go back and spend it on to go back to New Zealand to see my family. What would 10K be worth in Europe, do you reckon, Joel? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, about 5,000 euros. Oh, is that right? I thought yeah. you were going to say lunch and a pair of shoes. Uh, oh, oh Ritzy. Oh. Jack Caddy is. <laughs> wow. Well, congratulations. We're very happy for you. We have one more to do it tomorrow. We'll do it. Make sure you get on the air. Yes. Get on the Nova Player app. Another 10K tomorrow. Kate, Tim and Joel. <laughs> Tastes good. Ooh. Secret sound today is Kate Ritchie having a big slug of a cup of joe. Uh, it is after knockoff time on a Thursday oh, afternoon. Are you, are we on? Well, of course we're on. I did that on if purpose. You're, if you're going to have a big guzzle like that into the microphone, like you just filled your tank up with diesel. <laughs> I didn't know we were mm. on yet. I didn't get the big, the, the, the evil big eye. Memo. I know. Oh. Like I'm on set. Usually I have someone go. Oh, yeah. Quick. Talent Three. moving. Is it moving? Yeah. Travelling. Oh, travelling. Travelling. Talent travelling. Yeah. Ugh. Watch oh, out. God, they all think they're so important, don't they? No, they don't. They just have to have <laughs> open lines of communication. Everyone needs to know where you are all of the time. I know. You know, well, am yeah. I having a wardrobe change? Yes, I'll be in the diner in two minutes. <laughs> I've, been, I've been hoping that all afternoon. <laughs> this is a new jumper. Are you driving a taxi now? <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with this? I, know, I need amazing. something underneath it. I need it, the full look it of does. it. It does, it has a bra. <laughs> well, I need something that I can see underneath it because it's like you're going. But you can do yeah. this. I like it. That You know, they style it in the store on you and you, yeah. so I can do it up. Okay. I can do like a bit of it. That's better. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not that's either. Better. Well, but it's like... a bit hot, so I need to have the the, the, yeah. the press studs open. What do you oh mean I need something God. under? I don't want to be too bulky under here. No, you just yeah. need something underneath it. Um, and speaking studs. of dressing up, Mm. Well, adults to dress up. You, you're mad. You've got friends that are mad for a dress up party. Um, oh yeah, oh, you've got yeah. famous friends that like. A dress yeah, up oh my god. Oh, those Can we just go and right. hang out? Do we always have to dress up like stuff. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen twenty four ten. Dressing up for adults. I don't mind it when the, the best theme I've actually been to this year was Vegas. Uh, no, Miami Vice. Which was kind oh, of like, that's a fun one. Well, I didn't know if that was just you or whether you were actually dressed up. Oh, really? Well, that's it's a bit of a cool look, well, isn't that's it? That's cool because you can still go out after. Like, you don't come dressed as a vampire with blood on your face and then you want to go out afterwards. Yeah. Like, my, could Miami was cool. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Mm. 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 I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, so, you can go out in your neck of the woods because nothing's open. <laughs> <laughs> there is, there is a nightclub there that I is think there? I've been to years and years and years ago. Yeah. And it's... Anyway, I'm not going to say what it's called, I th- but I think it's down down the road from the pub. I hate to break it to you, but Monty Zoomers is not a night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they just have cool music on at night. <laughs> <laughs> or the what? The walk station, not a nightclub. <laughs> Titanic? No, that's a Thai restaurant. <laughs> Lift this way, not the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> You were so mean. Uh, you, well, you were on the group message, Joel. But yeah, that's why you, the group message. You, <laughs> you were actually hilarious. Like, like often, quite often, I have to laugh at you, but it's not that funny, yeah. right? I was <laughs> lolling out loud. Because yeah, you know it's true. With you sending messages of my suburb that you had Google I searched. I Google imaged her local shopping centre. I know, oh, I saw. They're even I sadder that, than man. I could have imagined. <laughs> and you were saying, is this LA? No. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's your suburb. No. No, anyway, dressing, dressing up. up. Now, I, I love a dress up. I love a dress up party, but if it's easy, I don't have to go and prepare for it for days and days and days and days and you can go out after. They're my only rules. Yeah, okay. and maybe yet we already have something in the wardrobe that can kind of, you yeah. know, like maybe it's, an, you know, animal print. We have all we all have a leopard <laughs> print dress or a zebra or something. Yes. Or, you know what I mean? It's simple. Yeah. Or Anna Wintour. You know, we've all got sunglasses. We all have sunglasses. Yeah. I mean, my community 
community love a dress up party, but no matter what it is, they just wear nothing like a harness. Well, and, harnesses and, and, and glitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's Halloween. Thing. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> it's always the same. It's like us with margaritas. So, so always just make make the harness work. I know. <laughs> yes. Well, a job interview at the bank. Harness. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Terry and her husband, Michael, from Bristol. Mm. Uh, there's a photograph of them there if you'd like to which check them Terry out. Which one's Terry and which one's Michael? Terry's on the right. Oh. Uh, Terry, a lady's name. Um, they're from Bristol and they oh quit their God. jobs during <laughs> lockdown and claim that they now earn up to 17000 Australian dollars a month. By dressing up as Tarzan and Tarzan and Jane on OnlyFans, there they are peering over your shoulder, blackers. The couple. Oh wow, that is a lovely snap. They pro- they, they make money. <laughs> yeah, they do. She even has the little like um, uh, is it Wilma from the Flintstones? The little rock bracelet around the left hand. That's scrunchy. Mm. No, that's rock. That, a candy rocks bracelet. Around she there. about to eat. <laughs> no, it's a rock bracelet. Neither of you are listening. Your, who's the most? I thought Betty was the most attractive of the Flintstones. Oh. But Betty, she was a cute little flirty oh, one. But I don't know if you're allowed to say that. Remember now. the live They're action. all attractive. What about the live action remake they made with Halle Berry, and she was like the like the sexy assistant, and John Goodman, and all that crowd. Yeah. No. Yeah, Fred. Who oh, yeah, played Fred. the other one? Fred and um, Barney. Who the played Barney? Who played Barney? Um, what's his name? Danny oh. DeVito. Oh, and Betty Rubble was played by look Rosie at, O'Donnell. But look at Betty, the, the the cartoon Betty. Holy moly. Does that do it for you? What a great frock. Yeah. She's only got oh, two toes. That's she her, rocks a whole tub, doesn't she? That's her doing Reba McIntyre. <laughs> <laughs> that's your red carpet pose. <laughs> Shut up. This couple, this is Terry and Michael, Tarzan and Jane, they yeah. pose for risque pictures together, dressed up in various costumes, including neon underwear and the Tarzan outfit. I don't need to see that from those No, guys. I don't need to see that. Well, people are paying for it. I think it's only about $17 a month or something. Terry and Michael say that swingers are their most popular customer base and are known as tea and mix. Why have you chatted through Rip Your Anus? <gasps> <laughs> Oh, Rick Moranis. Oh, my apologies. I thought that was a bit strange. <laughs> what's, what's Rick got to do with anything? I mean, Rick, was he in the Flintstones? <laughs> he played um, <laughs> um, but the other one. It's a noose. Oh, gosh. Sorry. A noose. Oh, he was Barney. Barney. Oh, of course. Who said it was Danny DeVito? I did. Absolutely. Well, it oh, wasn't. Right. But Danny DeVito was in the Flintstones, wasn't he? Oh, was he the boss? I think he was the nasty boss with that Halle Berry worked for. Oh, I can just imagine him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm very hung up on Halle Berry being in the Flintstones film. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, but would it do, it, would it, do it for you as far as costumes go? Halle? Just uh, Danny like DeVito a Tarzan was style. originally the first choice for Barney, but he turned it down as he felt he was too gruff to do the character. Mm. So he uh, suggested Rip Uranus for the role. <laughs> <laughs> and then DeVito was considered for Fred Flintstone too. But what did he actually do? Oh, look, that like... came out in the 90s too, 94. Oh, we were Wasn't... doing that earlier. <laughs> I know. I've... See how? The callback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. Beautifully Thank done. Mm, they, they, it, it probably deserves a remake. Nah. No, I no, don't think it'd be so. Great. It'd be great. Oh, and also, did we have we discussed John Goodman? He was he was Fred. Yes. Can I ask a question? Is he still with us? Yes. I know. Oh. I get confused. Oh, is I always he? think he's Sometimes. dead. No, you're thinking of Candy. John Candy. John Candy, oh, John Candy has Candy. passed. Candy, you got the other. John. And Bert Newton, he's no longer with us. I know. Well, I saw Patty's back on. Back oh, on I the saw pe- the footage the yesterday. <laughs> what is she doing? She was on the morning show or Sunrise yeah. or something. Oh, doing well. Can we see the sacred footage of her signing in? <laughs> Not first sliding into the Channel 7 building. What? In Docklands. <laughs> God, how do they get that footage? <laughs> what are you actually talking about? God, John Goodman's good, isn't he? He's good. Does he, he do it for is... Remember him in flight with Denzel Washington? No. Oh, or, um, oh what's the, the borrowers? Have you seen the borrowers the, the, about the, the really miniature people that live under your floor? No. Borrowers or burrowers? I'm very con- get confused. No, the borrowers. Google really? the borrowers. It's such a good film. Oh, we used we used to watch it as, as a family growing up. As the borrowers or the borrowers? The borrowers. It's a good one to watch with your kids. Is it? You guys have kids, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Watch it with your kids. Oh, okay, I will. Oh, that's fine. Oh, yes, borrowed. Jim Broadbent. It's oh, when they come up and borrow your stuff, do yes, they? Yes, yes. It's a bit honey, I shrunk the kids. Yeah, but better. Oh, you can't be better than that. Oh. Yes, you can. That's a Rick, um, isn't he in that one as well? No. Oh, who's in that? <laughs> oh, are you serious? Who's the honey, I shrunk the kids? Okay, Google thing. honey, I shrunk the kids. Go on. So many people are listening going, what the hell is honey? I know they've all turned off just testing the other guys for the first time. (laughs) I know. Um, You know it? Rick Moranis. Oh, it is! Oh, I thought you meant Danny DeVito. No! 
Well, I didn't know that you I was meant pointing, that. I wasn't going to say, Rick, you is he how, still how alive, Rick Moranis? How do you pronounce it? He's 69. Rick, oh, my God. 69. Rick of course, Rick, Rick Moranis is 69, everyone. Mm, Who would have thought? Oh, grow up. <laughs> it's not even No clever. dessert for Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Just entree and main. Jake. <laughs> Depends what your idea of dessert is. Oh, you oh, know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <laughs> Say it like that. <laughs> oh, sorry you had to hear all this, Jake. Hi, Jake. Uh, sorry. Apparently, about you dress up for parties. Is that what we're talking about? Oh, <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, my God, apparently, we've come full circle. G'day, Jake. What do you dress up as? G'day, guys. I um I had a Toy Story party for my twenty first, <sighs> and I spent about four hundred bucks on a Buzz Lightyear outfit. Mm. Um, and it was about probably two meters wide. I'm six six, and the outfit probably took up the whole dance floor. Six oh, six. six six. Wow. And are you um a Joel's variety? <laughs> No, no, I'm not. Oh. No. Let me see. Did you do a full Tim Allen impression at the party? You know, like go really hard. Oh, God, like oh yeah, cutting of course, Kate's of course grass. you did. Cutting, <laughs> yeah. cutting you have Kate's to. grass. You know? Yeah, you have to make yeah. sure. He sounds too young. He's very young. How old are you, Jake? I'm 27. Yeah, a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> Staying out of it. Well, Is there any other to. questions, Kate? Oh yeah, Jake. What's your idea of dessert? <laughs> <laughs> We love love. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Oh, five. Oh, I love this song. Take a good look around. I love this song too. It's May 5, so we're playing a bit of five, you know? Oh, look what you're doing there. Yeah, I was reading this pretty boring story in Pop Pitch about Scott, one of the members of Five. Is he still in Five, Scott? Scott, isn't I don't he the know Prime if, Minister? Is this five, does Five still exist? Yes, there's three of them now. Okay. So oh, that's always five. really sad when they do that. Yeah. Just give it up. Apparently he wanted to become a pop star so bad because he wanted to have spiky hair and didn't think any other career would allow him to have spiky hair. God, oh, I remember so him. Scott. He took such pride in crafting his spikes. Look at the picture in there, he is. Um, the one day ahead of shooting their video for We Will Rock You, he called Abs into their hotel bathroom to check them over to make sure they were looking primo. Unfortunately, Abs left the cigar he'd been smoking unattended and it set the whole room on fire. Oh, they tried to no. escape, crawling out with wet towels over their heads when Abs had a panic about leaving his Timberland boots behind. <laughs> Scott had to convince him not to return for. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. They had minor burns and smoke inhalation. But look at them. They still rocked it. Still, Five. Still performing. Oh, Five that's three. I love this song. They were like Westlife level. Yeah, they remind me of the UK panto at the end of the year. S Club Seven weird. are like way down though, aren't they? I don't S Club think are way down. So. Like up, up your top, you got your Backstreet Boys, you got your um, NSYNC, and then I think they're next rung down. They're what? Westlife Five. What about New Kids on the Block? Where are they in all of that? Oh no, that's not that era. I have to say this might be controversial, but Americans do boy bands way better than no, the No, I I beg to differ. Okay, but, um, oh, but the British do girls that. Are you the, serious? The British do girl bands better. Sure, but I said boy bands. So we'll okay. have that. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kate, where do you stand? I'm thinking about dessert. Oh, yeah, oh, right. oh, yum, yum, yum. I'm thinking okay. about quick draw. Our guest is here. They've been here for ages. And they're next. Our next guest loves to bang on about music. Let's play Speaks and Speaks. What was it? What was it? Be it radio or on her podcast, Bang On. And then all of a sudden you just went, Bang On. She's also a co host alongside Joel for Australia's coverage of Eurovision. All right. Yeah. Australia. Please welcome Miff Warhurst. Yes, yes. Oh, the love of my life, the family. Oh, welcome back, Miff. We oh, love you. What song oh, you got? What song you got? Oh, Maniskin. Oh, Maniskin. Oh, if we don't meet them this year. Oh, oh my God. Can you imagine Maniskin when we're backstage at Eurovision just avoiding us? Yeah, the Because we'll be like walking past <laughs> too much, too, like sidling up and they'll be just avoiding Crazy us. Crazy like? Stalking. Did which, you? Yeah. Which one do you like the most? Because Joel and I have, a, has, have this discussion about our favourite. Mm, I like Damiano. I mean, I only know, the, the, I only know Damiano's name, the lead singer. Yeah. You like the guy with the... Blonde hair. 
Mm. Every year, mm. Miff falls in love um, with the contestant, uh, and they normally happen to be from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> and look, and I'm way too old. Like I'm 40 years older than them, and it's embarrassing. And Come I shouldn't on, be darling, looking... you're never too old. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that year you got so in love with a guy from Sweden? I couldn't cope. But she couldn't cope. But then also backstage at Eurovision is so not glamorous. Yeah. So I remember you just like watching him. You were sitting in a bean bean bag, bag. watching him line up to buy like a ham and cheese sandwich. (laughs) (laughs) That took all the sexy out of it. Yeah, Yeah, it sure did. did. And then I had the the great line, um, uh, great performance. (laughs) (laughs) You minx. Was he like, who's that girl? I know. Who's that woman? I know. Miff, what's the most underwhelmed you've been um, (laughs) Next to a movie star, uh, sorry, a musician, because I remember seeing Robert Smith from The Cure in the Qantas Club on the Gold Coast <laughs> making his own toasted sandwich. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I, I, that shouldn't be allowed. No, it's sad. Oh, I've got a Robert Smith from The Cure story. Okay, he so was do backstage I. at Brisbane. Uh, the, the concert was livid and yeah. he was wearing bike pants and a woolly sort of jumper, which is very un um, Robert Smith from The Cure because right. he should be wearing something black and yeah. kind of gothic. Yeah. And he was making a cup of tea. And <laughs> I was like, that's not, no. that's not what I want. Yeah. What's yours, Kate Ritchie? I was travelling first class. Well, like, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. Here we go. By chance. And oh, yeah, because you booked it. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I was like, whoopsie daisy, how did I get here? And and the cure were travelling on that same flight. I think I was, I don't know where I was going now. And so Robert Smith, Melbourne. this is my story, he's in his first class pyjamas. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's right. It's so, so weird seeing somebody in pyjamas. Yes, yeah, socks and the grey yeah. kind of like pullover and crazy hair, but no eye makeup. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Tons of caviar. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We've just got the Maniskin people up now. See, I reckon oh. they're all, they could all be my mates, I reckon. Have we got him up on the Yeah. Oh, yeah. The bassist, she's cool too. Yeah, she's, she's beautiful. Very cool. I mean, and the fact that they dress so well as well. Like they yeah. use, they don't use big name designers, but they use like really yeah. kind of current but un- underground cool designers. Yeah. Yeah, they've just become the face of Gucci. Oh, they've really? Well, they've ditched that then. <laughs> take that back. Joel, have you made a decision about dressing up as one of them in the opener? Oh, yeah. Did you hear this? <laughs> no, I didn't. So they pitched this to me. Oh, the producer's going to love me for this. They said, oh, when you and me meet for the first time on screen mm. in, in Torino, um, you're going to be in a gorgeous dress and I'm going to rock up dressed as the lead singer of Munishkin <laughs> and be like, oh, Miff, I thought we were both couple dressing um, as last year's winners. Um, but that requires very little clothes. <laughs> Clothing. I said I'd need about four months warning before putting that on. Notice they didn't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I just went, no, there's no way she's doing that and she will look terrible. Have you done your research on Torino? Because I initially thought it was a Clint Eastwood movie. I'd never even heard of it as a... <laughs> As a, an Italian city before, what's it known for? Don't say pasta. What's you it known for? You take this one. Mim. Well, the shroud, shroud of Turin, which is, is an ancient Excuse piece me? of cloth. The shroud of Turin. The shroud. Oh, oh, the shroud. <laughs> well, it might as well be because apparently they found out it's fake. So uh, anyone, oh. they, and apparently it has the face of um, oh yes. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, apologies on, for on, that joke. If anyone's yeah. offended. <laughs> no, it's a fake. It's fine. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> but the Jesus in the toast is real, though, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And the Jesus in the bum of the dog, too. You've seen that one. <laughs> Seen that one? What's it's, that? It's, well, it's, in the bottom of the dog. Yeah, yeah. dog's yeah. bum is disgust. I can't mm. Google that stuff. Doesn't no. it give you a history? Oh, not let, me do it. let me do it. Oh, oh, no. Please, you're constantly a kidney penis. Googling, oh, I so. don't do that. I do that on my sister's phone. Oh, do you? Yeah, what are you worried about? Or maze. Here we go. <laughs> Jesus in dog's bum. That's not yes, Jesus. That's Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. I've got the same initials as Jesus. I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh, like coincidence. JC, you're actually in my mm. phone as JC. Am I? Yeah. Oh, is that cool. so in, comes, in case someone steals your phone that I get in touch with celebrities? <laughs> yeah. No, does your stealing is Tim yeah, Black. I do know that. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. there's certain similarities too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bad stuff happens on Friday night and then he comes back on Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is great. Now, you guys are literally on a plane today so because mm. um, tomorrow Dylan Lewis is joining us and for the rest of the week, ah. who's also Eurovision alumni. Yes. Uh, he told me, though, you've got him working um, later in the week, very, very early in the morning, doing something with a tally room or a jury, but maybe you don't know about that yet. Oh, he must be oh. on the Australian jury, perhaps. Yes, that's Ooh. it, that's it, Australian okay. jury. Yeah, yeah. They so yeah, because the votes are split 50-50. It's 50% jury vote, 50% mm. audience vote, Okay. and in the case of a tie, which 
which would never happen. The audience vote outweighs jury. Right. Okay. There's so many rules around Eurovision. So it's so rules. tricky. No, and and we're the understand. worst with rules. Like, <laughs> no. Joel and I are not very good at obeying anything. Oh, yeah. No. And also by the end of the broadcast, which goes for about five hours, the, they're giving out the, the points. And, you know, every now and then Miff and I might have a little, you know, wine towards the end to celebrate. <laughs> it's a grand final. Mm. And Miff will give out points that aren't on the screen and weren't <laughs> announced by the host. She'll be like, and that's 4,000 points to Albania. <laughs> and I get me if that was, it was six, but okay. I just can't get my head around the numbers. I leave that to Joel. And well, it's numbers are confusing me here point. too. It says May 11 to 15. Can we just say uh, Wednesday to Sunday? Because whenever I look at a date, I go, like, that's weeks away. Yeah, do you but mean yesterday not. week? Uh, yeah, yesterday <laughs> week. Next Wednesday through to next Sunday. Next um, week. On SBS and SBS On Demand. Oh, so why'd you have to chuff off so early, mate? you got heaps of time. Uh, 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 prep, prep, um, prep. Prep. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that. Um, now, I believe, um, if you are taking on Joel Creasy again, is that correct? Apparently so. Apparently. Mm. Yeah. Uh, because you played and Joel won last time. That's right. Oh, that's good because I haven't had many wins this year. Haven't you? No. I, I'm not very good at this game either. So I'm competitive. Mm. But I just, as my, you know, I think I've said this before. My mum said when it came to things like sport, I just don't have the fire in my eyes. <laughs> so I'm trying my hardest. But <laughs> I'm just not very good. It's very sweet. Uh, well, let's give I'll give you the rules. Uh, and again, look, we normally have Scott Morrison do the rules, but we're... We are in election campaign mode, so we are we are kind of straight down the middle. Mm. Yeah, um, we're bipartisan, whatever else the word is. But I will throw this in. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Thank you, Sky Mo. And also, Albo's been an ISO for a week. You think he could would have had time to record them totally. for us? That's true. Actually, we'll get him in to do that. Um, yeah. he played, didn't he? Yes, yeah, so I did. played him. Yeah, I, think. I don't think he won. No, he no, didn't. No, it wasn't super quick. What does that mean? Do you think? Does that mean something? That he didn't win? Yeah. Oh, as a sign, a bit of a sign. <sighs> Oh, well, he wasn't the, even running for PM then, so no, yeah, no. no. But Kate would beat Gomo in quick draw too. And in the election, do you think? Oh, absolutely, you're Australia's <laughs> sweetheart. Kate Ritchie for Prime Minister. I'm writing your name down. <laughs> What's our cash rate at the moment? I've got. No I don't idea. even know what that is. <laughs> no, neither. That's why it's really good having me ask the question because I've got no idea either. Uh, I give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The okay. first answer you yell out is locked in and... Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing the scoring. Name oh, yeah. something, practice question, you would pack in your carry-on luggage to Italy starting with P. Uh, passport. Paper. Passport probably was closest. That's close. But they're both great answer. Both good answers. I don't know who was who. Because Miff just takes blank paper, what, to draw on the plane? <laughs> I like to doodle on the plane. No movies or wine for me, thanks. I'll be doodling. But she's so small, economy's like a first-class seat to me. <laughs> Miv Walhurst is here, just about to get on the plane with Joel to Italy for Eurovision. We are back playing for real next. Hey, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. Quick draw. How good. Miv Walhurst is here. The guys are fresh, about to board a plane to Italy for Eurovision all kicks off on our TVs Wednesday right through till Sunday like quite the epic television event oh it really it doesn't <laughs> stop it goes and goes and goes yeah yeah so you've got to be really into it and I'm into it yeah now it, now it, that Joel and Miff are doing it haven't yeah. been into it my whole I'm not one of those I'm a late <laughs> convert no this is good and this is a good year because I think there's there's a lot of songs that are very traditional in that Eurovision sense but then there's a lot of quite terrible songs as well <laughs> which so bad that they're good and I feel like that is also the spirit of Eurovision and I yeah. can't wait and, and Sheldon it's... Riley oh sorry Joel but Sheldon Riley how are we feeling uh, he's uh, currently tracking in the top 10 in the betting odds they change a lot in the next two weeks as we see staging but his staging looks epic yeah. so I think definitely Australia's qualifying for the grand final I'll put it I'll I'll put that put that out there. Yeah. And he's also wearing fifty kilos of dress. Yes. Apparently. Yeah. So. Oh, and, singing. Mm. Yeah. and singing. And singing. It's like moving. Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. Beyonce who had to run on the treadmill to train. <laughs> he's had to walk around with sandbags for a few months. You should, <laughs> you should ask him to use that as a weighted blanket, Joel, for your trouble oh sleeping. My gosh, over my anxiety when I'm working sixteen hour days. Sheldon, there. can I borrow your costume to go to bed in? <laughs> <laughs> it's also the Italians putting on the show. So yeah. like it's gonna be a very chic, sexy production. Yeah. And Manishkin will be there. And you I'm should hoping. stand like you are in your promo pick with the electric guitar. It looks like you've never seen a guitar oh in your life before. Oh, my God, <laughs> don't. Let me, let me have a hand 
that to you? Uh, Biff was there. I was like, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> is that Jimi Hendrix? Stone, <laughs> I was already embarrassed. Is Eddie Van Halen? Here he goes. <laughs> wow, that like guy was born rude. with a guitar on his hip. <laughs> I know. We said when we were having that photo, we did both say to That's the photographer, not right. we aren't actually the artist, you realise. Yeah. We're the commentators. It looks like you're doing this with it. Hey! I was going to say, it's like a... Mm. A comedy yeah. guitar. <laughs> anyway, not many people will say that. That's fine. It's you know the that. worst that when you work in music and people say, oh, let's do a photo shoot, and they go, let's get a record player or let's yeah. get a guitar, oh, yeah. and you just know it's Never get a guitar work. again if anyone's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Ever. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're playing for real. It is Joel V. Miff, and, of course, um, you are scoring. Thank you. Kate Ritchie. Okay. Oh, and just off your revision, I'm very excited about Spicks and Specs coming back around October as well. It is my favourite, and you guys are my favourites. I mean, I love oh. all the new people that try it, but it's just, it's just oh. like a warm blanket, you know? Yes. yes. A warm weighted yeah. blanket. An old weighted blanket. <laughs> An old <laughs> weighted blanket. I oh, know, you're looking very hubba hubba in the promo shots, though, oh, in that thank green you. dress. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it's amazing what they can do with a bit of spack filler. <laughs> <laughs> are you holding a piano accordion? or just, you know, you know. <laughs> Question number one for real. Good luck, Joe. Just what's the last bit of the rule? Ultimately, Tim yeah. will exercise his discretion. Thanks, Scott. Uh, name a European country starting with S. Switzerland. Yeah, Joel. Oh, oh sorry. He's quick. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Joel. One to Joel. Really? Yeah, yeah, Sweden. Oh, I thought, okay. Oh, really? Should we go to the audio? How do we, you guys with the replays, that's amazing. Yeah. Switzerland. Sweden. Switzerland. Oh, maybe Sweden. Switzerland. It was, it was. It was, Joel. Yeah. See, I'm kind. Right? I'm kind. I'm kind. I'm kind when I blame you. If anyone else, I'm like, that was mine. <laughs> yeah. Name a musical instrument starting with F. Flute. Fit. Oh, Miff. Nice. Oh, oh. Yeah. What were you going to say? Fit. Fit. Fiddle. <laughs> fiddle. Fiddle. Oh, of course. Fiddle. Uh, French horn. <laughs> You're abandoned for the fiddle. <laughs> you are a maniac for the fiddle. <laughs> oh, you know me. <laughs> And you are a maniac for saying maniac. Oh, I love like, it. I love maniac. It was since that call we, that we had. It was someone was a chocolate maniac and then Matt Moran put it on yeah. his, um, uh, his Instagram, Instagram or whatever. And I just like, it makes <laughs> yeah. me laugh yeah. saying yeah. maniac. Remember the woman who said my husband was a maniac for pizza? <laughs> oh, that's oh. right. Like, All right. Good on you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, question number three. Oh, isn't it nice to reminisce about things? Oh, God, oh, yeah, yeah, really. Unpacked our own, stuff. Our own show. Yeah. 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 It's like a four good weeks show. ago. Name a body part starting with H. Head. No, that wasn't. Oh, what, 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 what were the answers? Head. Head. I said oh, hair. hair. Yeah, hair's not really a body part, though, is it? Do you well, think? Another point to miss. Okay. Joel, come on, mate. I've got to turn my phone over. Come on, come on. <laughs> well, text him. Your phone's not a distraction, is it? A guitar company's trying to get in touch with you for endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm waiting for my, no, my PCR to come Gibson. back to say I can travel. <laughs> Question number four. Oh, Name God. a food you can eat raw, starting with C. Oh, ceviche. Yes. Oh, oh good answer. Well, that's an excellent answer, Joel, and we've got two apiece here. We've finally got a game, people. We oh. do. I didn't even have an answer then. No. Carrot, capsicum, Carrot. coconut, cucumber. Celery. Celery. Mm. Celery's under, oh. um, overrated. I hate it. Oh, it's yeah. good with dip, though. Oh, come on. No, no it's soup. great with dip. Good in a soup, good in a pasta sauce, no good in a pasta sauce. Oh, oh yeah, in a pasta sauce. In a bolognese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting, oh. yes. Oh, you're a veggie. We're going to Italy. We're going to Italy. Yeah. So yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Italian. Oh. I can't wait to see you guys at the restaurant. Do you have any celery in your bolognese? <laughs> yeah. And garlic bread. We'll take two. <laughs> oh, no, bread. no, I can't have garlic. Herb yeah. bread. Herb bread. <laughs> and not that parmesan, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That like that cheap one I brought into the office. Oh my god, oh, the no. pre-shave stuff is a no. I was. You should, you should not be allowed in Italy department. for that reason. No. Oh my god. They won't let you in at the garage. <laughs> no, <laughs> I heard you bought the shave, the pre-shave yeah. Parmesan yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah, the COVID's fine. You yeah, can't yeah. Have the pre-shave. <laughs> Even the guitar picture, we'll we'll, we'll forgive you that. <laughs> okay, name a type of pasta. Here we go, starting with T. Tortellini. Yes. Oh, that was really hard. <laughs> Miff on three points. Joel on two. I have to tell you, Joel, you got to win the next point to stay in the game. Come on, you Joel. can win it from here, Miff. Great no, scoring I today. I, I think I lost last time. Great scoring today. Because I care. Because I really like both of these people. Oh, that's good. Lovely usually too, I'm Kate. off. I'm off. One of them. Usually it's Joel. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Here we go. Okay. okay come on. Name something you would iron starting with S. Shirt. Oh, 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 
Yes! No. Oh, oh yes! Miss Vera winner. <laughs> Joel. Oh, I was so close. Oh, what did you do? You didn't even have an answer. I said shirt. Sure. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then I just <laughs> dropped down like the queen that I am. Safe travels, both of you. We're not going to see you either, Joel, but we'll speak to you on the phone maybe tomorrow, if not Monday. Yes. Uh, and Dylan Lewis will be here from tomorrow hanging out with us. And um, we'll see you guys on the telly from Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, I can't see wait. Um, see you in person soon. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao Bellas. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.